Every day, billions of dollars are traded on stock exchanges throughout the United States. Nearly three quarters of the trading on these exchanges comes from high frequency traders, or HFTs, and many of their trading strategies have generated controversy. Hi, my name is Dylan Hurd, and I spent the summer working in the SURE program at the University of Michigan with PhD student Elaine Waugh and computer science and engineering professor Michael Wellman, studying the effects of latency arbitrage and market fragmentation. If you'd like to learn more about Elaine's work, click here. We focused on continuous double auctions, a system used in most stock exchanges today. Traders submit orders to buy or sell a stock at certain prices, and when these prices overlap, the traders transact at the first of the two prices submitted and go home happy. But what happens when prices in two separate markets overlap? These two markets seem to be operating normally. Let's say market 1 receives an order for 50 and market 2 receives an order for 55. If the agents submitted these trades to the same market, they would trade immediately. So how does this situation get resolved in the real world? Well, a price quote called the National Best Bid Offer, or NBBO, keeps track of the best buy and sell prices across all markets. When the above scenario happens, the National Market System, or NMS, routes the order to the other market and a transaction occurs. Seems like it should work, right? Well, not always. Here's the catch. The NBBO takes time to update. Not much, just a fraction of a second. But if the orders are submitted before the NBBO updates, and you're fast enough, you can submit orders to both markets and pocket the difference. Many trading firms pay large sums of money for the technology that gives them the speed to take advantage of this delay. Previous work shows that this opportunity reduces the overall surplus of all agents in the market. Elaine's proposed solution to this problem is moving to a centralized auction that clears at discrete time intervals. My main contribution to the project was to improve the artificial intelligence of the agents. Our preliminary results with the new agents show the effect of latency and market fragmentation on surplus. I also helped redesign data analysis and restructure the code to improve performance and reusability. Thanks for watching.